And hello YouTube, GS Mom Smart here today on a brand new video for tutorials of GS. Today's tutorial we're taking a look at Adobe Photoshop and teaching you how to create a spotlight effect with a bit of a shadow over a piece of text. However, this can work with anything really. If you have an object, if you have an image, if you have a person, if you have a soccer ball, anything really, uh, you can create a very easy uh, shadow and easy spotlight. Now, why there is a black dot on the bottom left corner of my screen here, I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this background layer and get a new one. Um, what I've done basically here is I've created a 1920 by 1080 image canvas file, create new, that will create a new image canvas. Let me just go ahead and fill this in with, uh, we're actually going to fill it in with black because that's the first step. Let's actually create a new layer, new layer, press OK. And we're going to make sure that the background is black like that. Now, if you created an image and it's white, grab your paint bucket tool and just make it black. Very easy. Then I have a piece of text here that I already wrote myself before the video to save yourself the time. And right now it's black. We want to make it white though. So it's going to highlight it and make it white. And there it is. Awesome text. That's what we're working with today. Awesome text. So after that, you should have two layers, your background layer and your text layer. We're going to make another layer. So it's going to be a third layer. Go to layer, new layer, press OK. And this time we're going to go with white. So change your foreground color to white. Grab your paint bucket tool again. And on your new layer here, it's going to be white. But you're going to drag it underneath the text layer here. After that, once you have your white layer here, go ahead and go to the opacity here. Reduce this opacity to about 45%, 40%, 35% uh, is even good. Right around there, 35 to 45, uh, I would say there. So I'm going to go ahead and press 40. Then we're going to go up to edit, go to transform, go to perspective. And this will basically create our spotlight. Now at the very top, Go ahead and grab a corner here and just drag it inwards like that. So sort of make like a little funnel. Uh, depends how big you want your spotlight to be. If you want it to be smaller, obviously make it very small. If you want it to be bigger, make it big. I'm going to make it about this size like here. I think that's fairly good. Press enter to go and save the change. Next, we're going to go up to filters, then go to blur, then go to Gaussian blur which is right here and we're going to blur this by a very high value you can pretty much play around this as you like uh, 100 usually is fairly good uh, 200 is a bit too much so we're gonna go with 100 100 is fine. maybe 110 not uh, maybe 100 100 is fine uh, like I said you can decide how blurry you want it to be or not Right, it doesn't really make a difference, but this is the technique how to do it. Then on this white layer here, go ahead and create a layer mask, which you click the button down here that says new layer mask. Then you want to come over here to our brush tool. Uh, this is not the brush tool. The brush tool is over here. The brush tool. And we want to get a fairly large brush. So nothing too big. Try to get a size that's about this size. You can make it a bit bigger, but I'm not going to go ahead and make it bigger. I like this one. And make sure that your hardness is set to zero. So hardness is set to 0% and make sure your opacity up here and make sure your opacity up here is set to 50%. Then go ahead and hit F5 on your keyboard. If you're on a laptop, it's going to be the Fn key plus the F5 key and that will bring up your uh, brush options here. You want to make sure smoothing is checked. Everything else is unchecked. Go ahead and press F5 again to make that disappear. And then we're going to go ahead and just create a little arc here. So one time, two times, three times, sort of like that. And we're going to go ahead and erase the bottom here. Then we're going to go ahead and make one more new layer, layer, new, new layer, press OK. And on this new layer, if you need to reposition your text maybe so it's sitting on the spotlight a bit more, you can do that. I also noticed that our text is a bit too big and our spotlight isn't big enough. So I'm going to go ahead and change this size to maybe 80. That's a bit too small. Let's go 150. 150 is good. 
as you can see that makes it a bit more realistic so our text is actually in the spotlight and then on this new layer here that we just created we're gonna zoom in a bit and we're gonna go ahead and grab our brush again so our brush is here we're gonna make sure that our color is set to black our opacity up here is set to 90 and for this color you want to make sure and for this brush you want to make sure you have a small brush sort of so we're gonna go ahead and decrease this a bit and test it out that's a bit too big so maybe a bit lower maybe something like that there we go that's good and then we're gonna go ahead and click the corner of our text here hold down shift and shift will basically allow us to create a straight line across our text and as you can see that's that creates a cool little shadow now if you wanted to if you don't like this type of shadow you could very easily just go to your text here right click it click blending options and you can obviously add a drop shadow here if you wanted to do so and you have a bit more control over that and that may be better for you, you can also add a bevel and emboss so maybe something like that you could do to make it stand out a bit more that's how to create a spotlight effect on text with a shadow in Photoshop very easy and for certain uh, designs you may want to uh, create something like this and if you have any better ideas or better suggestions on how to make a spotlight definitely leave it in the comment section below because this is the best way I found to do it without using any graphics online uh, I feel like the bottom here needs to be a bit of a better arc I feel like it's not very circular at the bottom so you may have to perfect that a bit when you're making your arc strokes around the spotlight here you want to make sure you're doing it in a good arc so you have a nice circular oval shape at the bottom here uh, so that's one thing I messed up on but those are the steps hopefully you understood the video hopefully you found it helpful and if you did go ahead and leave a like at the bottom would appreciate it. any other questions go and leave a comment down below as well if you run into any problems or you have any suggestions leave a comment as well and you can subscribe to the channel for more adobe photoshop tutorials and other tutorials on video editing audio editing and more and if you want to donate a dollar to my patreon page you can do so as well click the card in the top right corner screen will bring you to the page i also have a vlogging channel gaming channel advice channel and a music channel you want to check those out links are in the description as well as the end screen that's pretty much it thank you for watching as always this is gsb i'm smart and i'll be back so you think don't go anywhere